Hola, Resirenas, High Kings and Queens. I, I pray that I find you excited right now to get an activation with the Holy Spirit. If I don't find you excited, I pray that we leave each other excited. Father, right now, give us that silence, powerful transfer, Father, right now with the activation from you, Father. As Sarah Jakes was saying this morning, there is a silent transfer. Wherever that silent transfer is, Father, I pray that you give us spiritual discernment. You give us that, that wisdom and knowledge to recognize that there's been a transfer of power, Lord. We want to be activated by your power. In Jesus' mighty name, have your way, Lord, today. And if I don't find anyone excited to expect from the Holy Spirit, I pray that we leave each other with this excitement of expectancy to see miraculous signs and wonders, to experience the fruits of the Holy Spirit, to go and have the best day of our life. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Lord, we honor you for the great God that you are, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for us having air in our lungs today. Thank you for us being alive. May we have that uncommon, undeserved, unexplainable favor, Lord. We thank you for it, Lord. And we thank you also that we get to go and be that favor in the world, that we get to advance others, that we get to be that silent transfer of encouragement, that silent transfer of servitude, that silent transfer, Father, of any area that they are weak. We will be the power in Jesus' name. We thank you for the power. And we thank you, Father, for just your word accomplishing everything that you sent it to accomplish. May we be obedient to accomplish the things that you've called us to in Jesus. Great God that you are, we thank you and we honor you, Lord, today for your wisdom, your knowledge, your revelation, your insight, your clarity, your peace, your presence, your partnerships, your protection. In Jesus' name, thank you for your protection. And thank you, Father, for your prosperity. In Jesus' name, we want your prosperity, not ours. In Jesus' name. And if I find you today, I'm led to, to, to say right now, if I find you today and you feel that you've been wronged in some way and you feel like you want to take revenge in your own hands remember this if you go and you try to do revenge yourself you take it away from it being god's work <laughs> let's not try to add more to our lives let's not try to add more work add more workload because that's not our job that's the lord's job and i would tell you somebody might be treating you wrong someone might be talking to you Ioli. Someone might forget who you are. We're talking to you the way they do. But you know what? It's okay. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. In Jesus' mighty name, have your way today, Lord. Thank you for that word. We are reading today from Luke, <clears throat> excuse me, Luke 12, 25, which reads, Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Ooh, do I find you today worried? Do I find you today with, with an ounce of worry or maybe a heavy load of worry? Let's not let's not worry about things that God is in control of. That's that's again trying to take a workload off of God. That, let's not do that. In Jesus' name, Lord, may we have greater faith right now in Jesus' name than fear. We thank you for taking our worries, Lord. Not not taking them, Lord. We surrender our worries right now in Jesus' name. Have your way, great God that you are. We honor you, Lord. And today the uh the worry, we're gonna look up the word worry defin definition <clears throat> in Google. Which is give, um, the verb is to give way to anxiety or unease, allow one's mind to dwell on difficulties or troubles. <clears throat> the noun is a state of anxiety of un and uncertainty over actual or potential problems. Anxieties, Lord. You cannot live where there's anxiety. We thank you, Father, right now that we want the pleasantness. We want to be at ease every day and any day. And today, Lord, we hand over our worries. Today's title is Default to Trust. If worries are not going to add to our lives, why do we choose to experience it? Why do we choose to talk about it? Why do we choose? Why do we focus on the worry? Why don't we focus on worshiping? Because as we worship, the Lord is dealing with it. He is handling it. It is there to possibly plant worry. But if we choose to worship, the worry will dissipate. I've learned that when you worship, joy lives there. Peace lives there. Easeness lives there. The opposite of worry lives there. And I'm going to give you the definition of the biblical definition of worry is, <clears throat> excuse me, worry as a sense of uneasiness, anxiety about the future. That's what worry is. But it's saying, uh, wor what does worry mean spiritually? The spiritual side of worry is an indication of emotional attachments, lack of willingness to put forth consistent effort, lack of faith, and ultimately a lack of understanding of how life in God works. That means that we don't have trust in God. That means that we're, 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 no. Right now, Lord, we want to worship. As I'm about to go 
and get my worship on right now. I pray in the name of Jesus that you get up and you find yourself a Bible-based church. I'm going to make a, a interruption right quick before I get into the word. If you need a church, there's Pearl Street Church. It's going to start at 11. Um, that's in the east kind of Pearl area. There is Life Point Church, which is in, um, at Life Point is in Alamo Ranch, Helotus, sorry, Helotus area. CBC Stone Oak, there's a CBC in the south side by Harlandale. Um, there's over there in Windcrest, there's Christian Life, Christian World Ministries. Uh, New Life over here off of 410 by Nat, by Lackland. Let me carry on. These are some Bible-based churches that I have attended and I recommend um, if you need, you need to find a Bible-based church. You need it. You need to get spiritually fed. You need to get your worship on. Um, have your way, great God that you are. Let me begin. Default to trust. Default. What does default mean? I want to go into this real quick. Default is something, as you notice, there's always going to say something like default. Like when you're paying a credit card, you're paying a car payment, you're going to pay your mortgage. There's going to be a default card that you use that's always going to, the funds will be removed out of. So default definition means, just so we can get a better understanding, failure to fulfill an obligation, especially to repay a loan, a pre-selected option adopted by a computer program or magnet. So we have our programs in here. We need to pre-select an option, which is to trust. Have your way, great God, the joy. Let me begin. Every single thing in your life is important to God. So when you pray, unload every worry, fear, joy, or thought in your head. Unload it, Lord. Give us the, give us, Father, the discernment. Give us the boldness to unload even things that we don't even know are there, Lord. Reveal those things to us in Jesus' name. He wants to hear all, about all of it. He wants to hear about all of it. <laughs> First Peter 5, 7 will give you some more uh, instruction on that area. And then leave it there. God tells us to cast our cares and anxiety over him because he cares for us. We weren't designed to carry all of our cares, but he is designed for it. Mm. So when something today sparks worry thoughts, you could talk to your friends or just keep it to yourself. But I suggest that you first, before anything, talk to God about it. I am learning. <laughs> Bring in Holy Spirit. I There's things that bother me and I come into my office and I'm like, Lord, this and this and this to you, Lord. To you, Lord. I don't want it no more. I want to cast it on you, Lord. Try it. It'll work. Go to your car. Go somewhere where you're by yourself. And like, you know, when you're going to call someone, pretend, pick up that phone and be like, Lord, I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> It'll work. <clears throat> so when something, oh, sorry. But I suggest that you first, before anything, talk to God about it. Worrying with your friends won't add an hour or minute to your life or theirs. Praying to your trustworthy God will bring you peace. Yes, it does. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that peace. You can trust him with your concerns always, period. Believing the truth, for instance, that God is good and that he does good will help you to trust him even when your circumstances are not good and you are overwhelmed with worry. Your God is powerful, faithful, and loving, and he treasures you. You can read more about that in Deuteronomy chapter 7. Whatever your concerns making, make praying to your father your default action to worry thoughts, and you'll see your trust in him grow. Thank you, Father, for it growing. Thank you for our intimate time with you because it grows our spirit. It gives us a transfer of your power in Jesus' name where we are weak where your worry might live. When you do, he blesses the hours of your life with peace. Mm, thank you, Lord. I will tell you that when you worry, it robs you. There's been times like in the past two days, I do my life and for some reason it tells me that it's not uploading and I begin to become stressed and worried. And in the past two days, the Lord has told me, relax. It's reading error. It's saying that it's not going to upload my life. And to me, that's something that I got to get out. That's by the Holy Spirit. And I'm learning now that God has told me like, Esme, it's done. And when literally I heard it in the spirit on my phone, it literally said done. It kept reading error, error, error for it to upload. For those who upload lives, you, you know how it would be sometimes. And it just said done. And it was up to me at that point to keep my phone open for another 42 minutes as I have before. 42 minutes were robbed of my life. It wasn't even robbed. I, I gave it up. I said, here, take my 42 minutes. I could be here worrying on my phone, not taking calls, not doing other things that the Lord had called me to do. Now I'm like, okay. It's done. Just as the phone said, it's done. I should, excuse me, I should obey in the spirit when God said it's done as me. It's done. And I'm learning now that I need to recognize that when I come to my office, I come to my car. If I have a worry and I'm like, Lord, you know, fix it. It's done. So whatever it is that you have worries, get it out. Journal it. I will tell you when you start writing your mind, will you'll write things that are in here that you had no idea are even there. And it's this sense of like, 
expression, expression. If you do not express, you will suppress and that will turn into depress, which is depression. Where you can bind that in Jesus name. Where peace lives, where love lives, where worship lives, depression cannot live. So I pray that this blesses you because it blessed me. Because in the past couple of days, it's, it's been happening like more. And I'm like, what is going on? Is my phone need to be updated? What is going on? But it could be just an act of the Lord trying to reveal to me. Is me. I see how important it is for you to bring the devotion. I see that. And I and I honor that. And I I feel like it needs to come out. And I'm recognizing now that it's an expression. It's what God has called me to do. And if I don't birth it, it's going to stay in there. And if it stays in there and I don't express it, it turns into suppression. And that's what would cause me to go drink and to go and do things and fill voids that I was just not supposed to be filling. It was supposed to what I was supposed to be fulfilling. In Jesus' name, have your way. Today's prayer is, Lord, I believe in your goodness. Oh, yes, Lord, we believe in your goodness. And even if we don't, Lord, right now, fix it. Fix it. We honor you, Lord, for changing our belief. We, uh, we believe in your goodness, love, and trustworthiness. So we ask you to change our default from our default from worry to trust, from worry to worship. You are powerful to achieve it. Exclamation point, Lord, we thank you for achieving it. We thank you for your word activating us at this silent transfer, Father. We thank you for it because we have been elevated. Our minds are in heavenly things, heavenly thoughts. So therefore, anything from hell cannot live in here. Transfer, transfer, replace the heavenly thoughts, the heavenly word. For the hell thoughts. The hell thoughts are, you're not going to become anything. You think he caused you to do that? Watch. You went through all of this in the past 12 years as me. You have experienced nothing but struggle, trial, and tribulation. But God, I, I can tell you, I hear those things. But I'm like, no, Lord, you're, you, I'm uncommon. I'm, 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 I've got this wonderful, this one, I'm, I'm miraculous and wonderfully made, Lord, for such a time as this. And so are you. So I pray that that blesses you and I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you deliver us from anything that is in default in here that needs to be activated by you, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Thank you, Father, for us trusting in you. It's like this, like, like I get up, right? I sit down. I don't check the, the bolts or anything on the chair. I get up. I sit down. You get in your car. You turn it on. You trust that the car is going to turn on, right? You trust that wherever you sit down that it's going to catch you, right? Hopefully. <laughs> if you trust those things. If you go to Whataburger, McDonald's, and you trust that my burger is going to be good because they are consistent, why can't we trust in God? Why can't we trust in the Holy Spirit? Why is it? We go turn on our flatter and we start calling. We trust that it's going to comb our hair, right? It's not going to burn it off. We trust in those things. We trust in the makeup we buy. We trust that when we go to work, we're going to get paid. We trust that when we get in our car, that Lord's going to get us from here to there. That's, that's the Lord protecting us. If we trust in those things, why can't we trust in him to deliver our worries? Why can't we trust? And then not only if he doesn't deliver, he's with us. So however long it takes, it's okay, Lord. I'm learning. I'm living and learning till I get where the Lord has me. That That is the greatest to me. The greatest like reward is to learn. <laughs> I will tell you, I thank you for your time invested. Today's word really blessed me. And if you have any worry, get out there and worship. Go in your car and worship. Get in your room. Put that elevation worship on. The music is elevation worship. Look them up. Go go to church. Get in a community of believers. Get in a community of people that will help you, pray with you. Um, they won't worry with you, but they'll worship with you. So in Jesus' name, be blessed. Thank you for your time. Blessed. If you don't have a relationship with God, repeat after me, Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart, Lord. Come into my brain. Come into my mind, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I make you my Lord and my Savior. And thank you, Father, for your works in my life. Thank you for the opportunity to worship in Jesus' name. Thank you for the opportunity that you take my worry. When I surrender it, you take it. It cannot live here anymore. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you prayed that simple prayer, put God first. If you need a Bible, a holy Bible. I will get you one. Godspeed. Inbox me. Have any prayers? Inbox me. Comment below. Thank you for your likes and subscriptions. I cannot thank y'all enough. The Holy, it, it, seriously, the Holy Spirit is going to deliver this year, and I'm going to get more intimate with the Holy Spirit. He's been revealing things to me that they need to get out, and I thank you, Father, for that. And I thank y'all for your trust. I thank y'all for you that are subscribing. You have no idea the subscribers that have been growing. I ain't doing this for subscribers. I'm doing this because I'm called to. But the people that have subscribed to me and trusting, knowing that there's going to be a word delivered, there's going to be an activation, there's going to be a, a silent transfer of power in any area of your weakness. Thank you for your obedience and subscribing. Thank you for your obedience and sharing. I will tell you that um, the Lord is going to deliver exception in the next months, years. That's it. Esme is digging deep and getting intimate. 
So therefore, we can get initiative. Thank you, Father, for your assertiveness. Thank you for your uncommon, unexplainable, unearned preferential treatment, Lord. We want to be out in the world that uncommon, that undeserved love. We want to be that uncommon favor, advancement for everyone around us in Jesus' name, for the people that you've called us to be in Jesus' name. Have your way, great God, that you are. And God bless you. And thank you for your time. I got to go get my worship on. I pray that you go get your worship on. In Jesus' name, have your way, Lord. Thank you for your partnerships, your peace, your protection, your prosperity, Lord. And more than anything, Lord, your presence. Thank you for this activation. I pray that right now you take this activation into the world and activate others. In Jesus' name, have your way, Lord. Great God that you are. Thank you for your time. Remember, your king, your queen. Reign responsibly. Trust responsibly. Get that, that every morning when you wake up, every time you go to sleep, throughout the day. Lord, thank you for your power in any area where I'm weak or any area that I have worry. In Jesus' name. God bless y'all. Remember this too shall pass. King or queen reign responsibly. If someone was laid in your heart right now, share it with whoever it is that the Lord dropped, pumped in your spirit right now. Be obedient. God will refresh you as you refresh others. God bless y'all. Bye.